Hello everyone, my name is Bhushan Pradhan. I am an actor by profession and an alumnus of Symbiosis College of Arts and Commerce. So the topic for today's skill itself that has been given to me is how to rediscover your passion and skill in today's tough times. First time, definitely we need to have an acceptance that yes, we are going through our tough times and we would need to take some efforts to rediscover these passions as well as form new skills, build up new skills and that starts with an acceptance. At the same time, if you do not want to do something, if you do not want to be passionate about something, it is still okay. What is necessary is that you need to be passionate about your health. And when we talk about health, it's not only about your physical health, but also your mental health. One thing that you need to rediscover is your mental and physical health. Be passionate about it and automatically few other things would follow. Another thing, we all are trying to rediscover different skills. We all are trying to rediscover the strength to uh, uh, face the current scenario. We all are sailing through the same boat. Nobody is an expert. Today, strangely, even I am not going to be able to advise you about how exactly you need to do certain things. How, uh, because I do not have any key to success right now. So what am I going to help you about? I would rather share with you certain things like how I discovered few skills in the past few days. It might help you if you follow in a similar way or you could rediscover your own ways also. And at the same time, you have Google to just find out if there's something different that you want to seek help for. So what happened is uh, one skill that I have uh, rediscovered in the past few days is cooking. Now, cooking is a skill? Definitely it is. Uh, was I ever passionate about it? Yes, I was as a kid. So um, when in school, I always wanted to go ahead and pursue hotel management as a career. But definitely my father was against it. And somehow I just lost interest in that too. My mom definitely taught me cooking, but that was only limited to maybe like uh, until my 10th or my uh, junior college, after which definitely I never had to cook. Fortunately, even when I shifted to Mumbai, I have a wonderful cook who cooks all the wonderful delicacies and scrumptious meals for me, wherein I do not have to cook. Then during the tough times, what was I supposed to eat? I had no other option but start cooking. But if I have got this thing to do, I thought why not do it passionately? Why not add passion to it? Was I ever passionate about cooking? No. But can I add passion to the things that I have to do right now? I can. And that is what I did. I invented few recipes on my own, which were pretty easy, which were according to my comfort. And at the same time, watched few YouTube videos. YouTube definitely comes to our help whenever we need anything, right? So I watched few YouTube videos and that's how um, I got my interest back into cooking. I love to present my dishes differently. Not only that, doing this ensured that I have good meals during these tough times. As I was clicking pictures, I was as I was posting uh, pictures on Instagram with the hashtag Bhushan Cooks, um, I was pretty interested in presenting it well also and it made my meals good. Because here I am staying all by myself right now in Mumbai and managing this all by myself too, which is definitely a task. But adding passion changed the things. The reason I'm telling you is because we might not have an option to go ahead and find out, rediscover your passion and uh, pursue it at the moment. So rather, it would be beneficial if whatever skills you have, whatever things you have to do right now, adding passion to it, learning the skills for those. As I said, cooking, I learned few skills for cooking. So you won't believe the other day I was just going through YouTube and I was searching how to store bread well in a refrigerator. Yeah, an essential which we don't get it easily at times these days. So how to store it well if you have stopped on it? And I hardly knew it. So another skill that I'm adding on, the kitchen skills, not bad at all. Similarly, if you're keen about, passionate about working out, go ahead, do that. YouTube is full of exercise videos, exercise routines, diet routines. Go ahead, learn that. If you have been interested about uh, learning different languages, you don't need to travel anywhere. You have Google, you have YouTube, wherein you have many tutors who are teaching it to you for free. You don't even have to do any webinars, no, uh, uh, you don't have to pay any fees. All you have to do is just log into a YouTube account and check for these different videos. 
search for content which will enhance your skills today we have a lot of content to uh, to watch to learn from it depends on us how we use our data aptly for what are we using our data what is the content that we wish to see definitely entertainment is on top priority also but why not use it to enhance skills something that i did um, another skill that i am still learning is a language any guesses which one spanish definitely after watching money heist i was very keen about learning spanish and i was like why not give it a try so i watched few uh, youtube channels and i found two channels which definitely helped me to learn this language and i'm it's it's been almost 25 to 26 days now that i'm continuously uh, every day without fail i'm learning spanish uh not only that there are some short stories which i watch there are ways wherein i can communicate in spanish and it is helping me a lot uh was i ever passionate about learning a language no but now i've added passion to it i'm doing it continuously for last 26 days and definitely i'm not stopping any soon and i would continue further also so again the reason i'm telling you this is we might not have the resources right now to pursue our uh, to pursue our uh, passion to pursue our skills rather we could do whatever we have whatever resources we have we can do the most out of it try that work out languages typing yes i had always been a two finger typer the pointer typer i type at an amazing speed but all i use is this two fingers so i did this what i did is i took a typing class again on my laptop online home without any fees and just learning for myself at my convenience whenever i want to do it midnight early morning according to my convenience the only thing necessary here is adding passion to whatever you do and it's not necessary that you have to do so many different activities now when i'm talking about learning spanish when i'm talking about cooking when i'm talking about uh, working out or anything i'm not doing all of these together i have few dedicated hours for it or else it's just like one thing at a time so it's okay and it's also okay if you don't want to do anything you like reading go ahead continue with that do that passionately you like sleeping don't do that passionately but yes if you think that makes you happy go ahead take a day's rest sleep for as many hours you want be passionate about it be happy about it but wake up the next moment and then start afresh so to summarize all this all i'm going to say again is add passion to things you're doing and at the same time please passionately think about your health maintain your health physical as well as mental health when you're going outside of your house passionately take precautions so that you keep yourself as well as your family safe so take care and hoping to talk to you soon bye bye